Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Saturday, and I am heading to Kroger with baby girl so we can get some um, stuff to make breakfast with. Um, I need like some eggs, some sausages. I need some, uh, I think I want some waffles. I need syrup. I need orange juice. I need like all the stuff you need for breakfast because we don't eat good today. Um, uh, Alex, he's actually at my mom's house. He'll be over there until tomorrow, um, which is good because I kind of needed a little time away from him. We kind of had like a little rough week, um, weekend, end of the week. Um, he got his hearing test done and kind of got some, mm, I will not say bad news, but it turns out that his um, EOAs are not are absent, and I need to do further research on the EOA because I keep I keep seeing it, but I can't remember like the the term for it. But pretty much, they were absent in both ears, so they put him. They made him do a test. They put me and him in a booth, and they the woman the doctor, um, you know had like made different sounds and stuff for him to respond to and he he didn't respond until they got like extremely loud and um that was kind of concerning to see in there and actually kind of made me a little sad because i'm like wow like you know can my baby really not hear so um that's a little stressful that's just been something i've been thinking about because he has to go back on the 10th of september to get an abr um, test so uh, and, that's, and that's with sedation so he's going to be sedated through that process it's not invasive it's not <clears throat> nothing scary but I've never seen my son um, sedated before or you know he's never had to go through anything like that so um, that is a bit worrisome but later on in the day I'll get back on here and I'll explain more about his procedure and you know, I'll pull up the term so that, you know, if there's anybody out there who is probably going through the same thing, y'all can know, like, exactly what it is. Because I tried to do some research on it, and I did not find anything on it. I found this one couple who kind of had the same similar experience. So, it was comforting. So, it's not a lot of videos out there um, for us who have kids who have to go through these things. Um, Like I said, I thought, you know, we were just going to go into just for him to just pass the hearing test and go and buy a business and then can start with speech. But that's not how it is right now. Like I said, his EOAs are absent in both ears. So like I said, I'll explain what an EOA is. I'll have my laptop up and everything to explain that. And he will have to get an ABR uh, test, which is when they put you to sleep and they just put like these little plugs around your head and stuff to really go in there and, and check the hearing and stuff like that. So, um, pray for us hopefully you know we get some good results back but that kind of explains why he is delayed in his speech um i heard like if you can't really hear as well for children it's kind of like they're underwater the whole time and it's just really muffled so um i kind of am waiting for i'm excited to hear answers and that's in september 10th on september 10th so we have some a few weeks a couple some weeks for it but that's fine um, that, that gives me ch a chance to prepare myself mentally for, you know, what's to come. And, um, it kind of gives me hope to, you know, hope in answers for me to figure out what's going on. Because, y'all, it's, it's very frustrating when you have a child who cannot communicate their wants and needs and can and really cannot understand much of anything that you're saying. My son is very smart, but, you know, is he, he has some delays and he has some issues and, for all my parents out there, I always go with your good. Like, I've been having these concerns, but I kind of brushed it off. I think it was, like, also almost like a denial thing. Um, and I brushed it off thinking, like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with him. He's fine. But I just kept having this thing, this thought, this thought, and just looking at him and observing him. I'm like, you know, something's not right with him, and that's okay. Because um, I'm always advocate for my son to figure out what's going on. So, like I said, we have up until September 10th. Um, I'm gonna pray and you know hope hopefully everything is going well but you know and if it's not then that's good because that give us a chance to figure out the next steps um, I still have not heard from the speech people as well so I don't know if that's a sign 
too because like you can't you can't start speech without getting your hearing test done here in texas so anyways um i'm gonna run in kroger as you guys can tell i mean I'm, I'm at kroger pick up a few things and um luckily my boyfriend he's off today so that's good we'll have a chance to just kind of chill and kick it you know baby girl she's a little bit more chill so she doesn't require as much attention well she does but you know she's not as um attentive and hyper as alex is so you know we can just chill today and just kind of hang out with one another and maybe try to connect a little bit more too so um yes i'll get back on here a little bit later on in the day to explain everything and um and i'll show you us making breakfast too so She want to be herself. Come on, mommy. Applesauce. Applesauce. It's good. Hmm. Okay, y'all. So, Cassidy is asleep. We back from the store. And I decided to just hurry up and get on here and um, do some further explaining about what um, I was talking about earlier because I just plan on having a good day afterwards um, after talking about this because I don't want to keep dwelling on it um, and worrying about it. So, my internet is moving slow, but um, what I was seeing what I was explaining to you guys earlier was that okay so when I first went when we first went inside the booth um they did a couple of hearing tests um and he was responding only when the volume got got a little bit louder other than that he was not responding um he was not even trying to respond um he also was not um paying attention to what was being asked to him and he wasn't understanding what the lady was saying like the lady had a pig like a toy pig and she was like um alex this is the toy pig when you hear the bird put the pig in the bucket because he had a bucket in front of him and he was just throwing the, the pigs in the buckets i don't know if it was just too advanced for him or if he just I don't know, like that, that right there worried me too. Cause it's, when she was doing it, I was just thinking to myself, he does not understand what you're doing. He's going to just do what he want to do. I'm not selling my son short. I just know him. And I know like, you know, his understanding. So, uh, the, um, OAE reveals like, um, abnorm abnorm abnormalities in your child's ear. And like I said, she said it was absent in both the years. So, um, she said that she was very concerned about that. And um, what I was explaining to you guys earlier is that OAE, is, it stands for auto, auto acoustic emissions. I might be um, explain, uh, pronouncing that wrong, but that's what it stands for. And um, it says hearing problems are common in children, nearly six in 1,000 in the United States. So after she realized that the um, OAEs were absent in both ears and that's it. And okay. So OAE, OAEs test for, um, like I said, abnormal inner ear functioning blockages or any damage. Um, he didn't have any, um, ear infections or anything of that nature. So that was good. Um, sorry, I keep saying, um, so after she said that that was absent in both of his ears, his OAEs, um, she, said that she wanted to do an ABR and ABR stands for auditory brainstorm I mean brainstem response with sedation and when she said that like I said earlier I kind of got a little freaked out about that because I don't know he never had like a sedation before so sorry if I'm a little off I'm just trying to give like the right information 
And that's a test that uses electrodes, which is wires, attached with an adhesive to the child's scalp. <sighs> so, like I said, that is going to be done um, on the 10th of September. And it is painless. That's really it right now. Like, that's really all the information I can give because it's just kind of like a waiting game. She did give me, like, this little guide, ABR instruction guide, um, you know, so we can know what to do on the day of. We do have to be there at, hmm, we have to be that early. We have to be there at 6 a.m. because it's the test starts at 8 so I guess that gives him time, us time to kind of like check in and stuff like that. So, um, on the guide, it just explains like the location, where it's going to be at. It's talking about the parent having anxiety because of the sedation and all that, which I'm glad it was in here because I thought I was tripping when I like instantly got nervous. Um, it's saying in here it has what items to bring you know for the abr like your insurance card like something comforting for the child and then is explaining what to expect on the day so we're gonna check in we're gonna prepare and then um they're gonna start the test and the good thing is, about it is that i can be in there with him so that made me feel a little bit better knowing that i can be in the room with him you know while this is going on because, I, I mean, it's not a surgery or nothing. It's just scary, you know, knowing that he'll be, like, asleep. And I'm unable to be in there with him. So, it's good that they said that I can bring him in there. And then Alex can come in there, too, with Cassidy. And it's safe. So, that's good. Since that news, since that news I've been, like, on the laptop, like, crazy like just trying to figure out you know everything so and the only reason why they sedate you they sedate the kid is because they have to be like quiet like they have to be very relaxed and with children it's like especially I know my son like if they was to put that thing on his head he would just be like probably freaking out so um that's why they put the kids to sleep and it's not like uh, anesthesia or something it's just you know but it says abr can be used as a screening procedure for newborns who are at risk for hearing hearing loss as a diagnostic tool to identify um infants and small children with hearing loss to estimate to estimate hearing levels and difficult to test to estimate hearing levels and difficult to test patients um to evaluate patients with suspected retrocochlear pathology, to evaluate patients with Marinier's disease, intraoperative mo monitoring, and a prognosis, a prognostic indicator for patients with head trauma. And it says the ABR test is performed on an individual who is resting quietly or in a sleep state. Um, so, yeah, that's. Pretty much all the information I can give you guys until the day of. I definitely will be updating you on what happens. But I'm going in there with a positive mind knowing that everything will be okay. He will be fine. So I'm just going with, by what the doctor says. And like I said, I'm kind of glad that we are taking these steps because I know it was something. I just can not put my finger on it. So um, like I said, you guys, this is what's what's going on in my life right now and um that's pretty much it i hope you guys have a wonderful day well you know what? why am i closing this off because i'm going to record more later so i'll see you guys in the next clip peace hey y'all so i know i said i was going to record um myself or us cooking or whatever i said earlier i don't remember but um today was it was it was it was boring. Um, <laughs> the weather was kind of gloomy, and everybody was a little, me and Alex was a little sluggish, and 
stuff of that nature. So, um, actually, we're gonna, I'm probably just gonna watch some Netflix movies and, um, take a shower and stuff and get ready for bed. She was supposed to be asleep, but she ended up waking up. So, I gotta wait for her to go to bed now before I, um, get myself together. So, yeah, today was a boring Saturday, but whatever. And I miss, I miss Alex, so I'm just not feeling it, whatever. But anyway, we had ended up going back to the store because we just ended up picking up some groceries and dinner to cook for tomorrow. And um, then we got home and we decided to just eat something fast. Then we watched Family Feud, so... That's really pretty much it. I'm sure Cassie. <laughs> it's just us right now. It's just us. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry if this little video was boring today or if it just had no meaning to it, but... I just wanted to keep y'all updated on what's going on in my world, if you cared. And, um, I will uh. probably do another video maybe tomorrow. Maybe not. I'll probably just wait until the week or something. Yeah. <sighs> That's it. So, um, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.